on this windy day today I'm gonna to make some charcoal um, for drawing and uh, I've started off I've already got a little tin and in the lid of it I've put a hole and I'm just spending some time filling it with the right sized uh, it's a twig. This this is apple wood because we've got an apple tree. Um, and we'll see how it goes. So I'm using a um, a gas hob, an outdoor gas hob, to uh, do the charcoal. And I'm quite glad I have because the outside of the tin is kind of already burning away and giving off some nasty fumes. So I'm going to keep an eye on it. And I'll so quite quickly I've got smoke coming out of the top, um, that should catch light soon, uh, there's a little bit escaping out of the edge of the lid, um, but I'm alright with that because otherwise too much pressure might build up. Um, yeah, I, hopefully it'll catch on fire soon and we should have a little spurt of fire coming out the top. It's really going now. Um, I'm not sure if it's actually going to catch on fire that smoke, but we'll we'll see. So I'm going to assume when the smoke disappears, that's when it's ready. The um, smoke is definitely starting to die off now, but I'm going to go a little bit longer until it's completely gone. Um, although it started hailing, <laughs> which has uh, slightly put me off, but um, yeah, we'll keep going. So I've halfway. Uh, I looked at, at my twigs after about thirty minutes, and because uh, I thought that the flame had all gone, but it looks to me like it needs a bit longer. So I'm going to put it back in the. I'm going to actually put it on the fire tonight. Um, we've got that end is almost charcoal, but this end not so much. Um, yeah, so I'm going to give it another go in the fire tonight, and. Um, and hopefully it will work. I reckon a couple of hours will do it. We've got a day where we started a fire, so I've put my charcoal back onto uh, onto the fire. Um, it's got to the point where it's it's smoking, and if I put a flame to it, the smoke lights, um, but it doesn't stay alight. So when I take it away, um, it goes back to smoking. So I'm going to keep on. I don't particularly want to be breathing these noxious gases so I'm going to keep my flame on top of it until it keeps itself alight and then once it stops burning that's when I know it'll be done. There we go, my flame is now on fire. Everything is on fire pretty much, but the uh, the gases coming out of the canister are also on fire in their own right. So when they go out, it'll be ready.
it's it's the moment of truth uh, i'm gonna open up my charcoal and see what we've got in there Open it with two hands. Okay, so I have got some sticks and they are charcoal mostly, I think. Hmm. Maybe some are better than others. Looks like they've done well at the bottom, but we'll see how how we get on. We've got some funny colours on them which I wouldn't expect from charcoal. Um but we'll give it a go and see if they work. So we've had a look at these we actually there some of them look all right some of them i think would need a bit of practice to work with but i'm pretty pleased for a first go um it's making some nice marks that little one there the bigger ones are slightly um slightly chunkier but we've still got good patterns coming from them and it's quite dark um so let's have a look it's all feeling right in here it's just there's some off coloring and i'm not sure and so it crumbles so i mean you could never sell them <laughs> let's put it that way but you could definitely do some art with them and make some interesting patterns and textures and yeah i'm wondering whether next time i would do it without maybe strip some of the bark off because i think that's just the bark I don't know. I'm going to have a little play with them and see whether the big ones work better or the little ones worked better. Some of them don't look like they've burned quite right, but then but then when you put them on the paper, they look all right. Interesting. Hmm. Worth a play. <laughs> 